assalamu alaikum everyone hope you all are doing well from the platform of englishbuffet.5 i am gonna impart you something of much value hope you all are ready to receive viewers you can see in front of you uh, the very important topic it is recurrently asked in several uh, sorts of exams so i hope that uh, you all are very well aware of the importance of essay writing if you remember recently i have imparted a lesson on paragraph writing so a paragraph writing is a sort of miniature essay writing right so uh, today uh, there will be a little bit difference uh, in this topic the composition of an essay and paragraph is almost similar yet a little bit detail is added in essay essay is a little bit detailed topic remember so in this uh, lesson i am going to tell you what is essay actually what sort of uh, writing is it its benefits its types and how you can compose a good essay what are the key points you can keep in mind while composing it okay so listen to this lesson very very attentively and practice later let's get started with what is an essay viewers the way you can see in front of you it is such a piece of writing which is non fictional it means it is totally realistic based on reality right secondly it represents a certain idea it can have some arguments okay and it is all about to encourage discussion so the sum and substance of uh, this slide is you can say that um, uh, an essay is a piece of writing which is realistic and uh, it is thoroughly having one idea and we argue and discuss over it right it is a single unit idea you can say uh, remember there are certain types of essay writing iski kafi sari types hoti hain okay jin mein se chand ek aaj aapke sath mein share karne ja rahi hu first of all you can see uh, compare and contrast essay viewers it is such a type of essay which uh, can analyze similarities and differences between two things or more than two things okay मतलब इस इसमें कोई आपको ऐसा टॉपिक दिया जा सकता है जिसमें किसी चीज़ का कंपैरिजन और कंट्रास्ट पूछा जाए सो यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब द डिफरेंसेस एज वेल एज द सिमिलैरिटीज सेकंड टाइप इज नरेटिव ऐसे ओके नरेटिव विच टेल्स अ स्टोरी फॉर एग्जांपल अ रेनी डे यू कैन बी आस्ड अबाउट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ Uh, incident or the whole day or your experience of that day is tarah se aapko topic diya ja sakta hai in which you have to relate the whole story next one is argumentative essay this is a very uh, you can say um, important and uh, famous sort of essay writing in such an essay you have to um, give arguments over the topic okay uh, you have to prove your stance by giving arguments next one is critical essay definitely it will be a critical analysis of something it will be providing the uh, you can say you will be examining over uh, a topic you will provide the pros and cons and uh, each and every detail you will critically analyze the topic and present your ideas such a type of essay is called expository another type is uh, descriptive where you describe the picture okay picture doesn't mean um, any sort of photograph right it it means that uh, you are going to present any idea in a descriptive way next and last one is persuasive essay the word is from persuasion or persuade okay it means to convince so you have to convince the readers of your essay over your stance so these are a few types of essay writing and uh, for your further clearance uh, i have added one type of essay over here as a specimen which is an opinion essay opinion essay mein humne apni opinion deni hoti hai over the topic ki hamari rai mein ye kya hai aur kaise hai whatever it is one more thing viewers you have to keep in mind that um, an essay a best essay you can say is written in five steps if you are going to keep in mind these steps you won't be making any sort of mistake like 
first of all you have to write the introduction then there will be the body paragraphs okay you have to divide your essay into different portions you can write two three or four paragraphs the ideal one is having three paragraphs right and then you will be concluding definitely the first the introductory and the concluding paragraph will be having the same length the shorter length and uh, the detailed paragraphs will be in between see viewers i have an uh, added an opinion essay for you i hope you can uh, silently read it i will uh, just highlight a few things that are uh, of much importance for you remember that um, you should use different sorts of transitional devices uh, while writing an essay see uh, in the yellow color first of all then in addition to sum up these are called transitional devices matlab ye aise phrases aur words hain jo ki ek paragraph se dusre mein entry ke liye hum use karte hain isse hamare flow of thought ko bhi help milti hai aur ek connection sa different paragraphs ke darmiyan rehta hai this is also the beauty of you can say an uh, essay right secondly uh, try to write clear paragraphs right and express your own opinion using the words like i think in my opinion or try to add like some people think so the tips for uh, writing are at the bottom you can go through them uh, it will be better if you will be reading the whole four paragraphs okay it will provide you a clear picture that how an essay an opinion essay is written you can also notice uh, viewers the length of uh, the introductory and the summing up paragraph and the two paragraphs in between these are two paragraphs the ideal length is 3 in between and uh, first and the last one total five paragraphs okay so i hope you got this idea for your further understanding i have added here a picture which is uh, so explanatory uh, see it's a picture of a hamburger so is the uh, you can say combination and uh, composition of an essay right the top bun showing introduction the mid portion is containing several sorts of fillings so these are representing the paragraphs and final bun is uh, used used for showing the concluding paragraph so this is how um an essay is composed same is the case with paragraph writing only uh, we have to remain uh, our composition uh, in a shorter way okay keep it short uh in essay we add details via, whereas um in uh, paragraph writing we remain precise this is what is the difference between the two let me tell you some do's and don'ts of um, uh, essay writing uh, which every student of um, english language should keep in mind while writing as um, this is something um, which includes certain rules and regulations once you start practicing them you are not likely to make any sort of mistake again so let's do with the positives first sabse pehle aapne jo kaam karne hain keeping in mind uh, how to uh, write a good essay these are first of all pay attention to your word count you are always given some uh, word limit ki 200 words hain 3 or 400 whatever it is while writing you have to follow that word limit strictly secondly write from the third person per perspective many students do the mistake that they write their um, essay in first or second person remember that you have to compose in the third person like he she it they and the singular and plural nouns okay this is the best way use a hook it means that you have to grab the attention of the readers of your essay at the first point okay when you will be uh, disclosing um, your words uh, at the beginning means you will be providing the opening introduction to the um, essay um, give it in an attractive way so that the readers may be hooked okay next one is keep readers involved aapka jo essay hoga usko throughout from the beginning till the end you have to keep up the attention of the readers okay um, it, it can be done uh, only by the selection of uh, good words easy words straightforwardness 
एंड इवन द कनेक्टिविटी एंड फ्लो ऑफ थाट जितना आप स्पॉन्टेनियसली लिखेंगे कनेक्टिविटी के साथ लिखेंगे कोहरेंस होगा उतना ही रीडर इन्वॉल्व होगा एंड डेफिनेटली योर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो मैटर्स अलॉट राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज़ फॉलो अर स्टैंडर्ड फाइव पैराग्राफ फॉर्मेट जैसे मैंने आपसे पहले कहा कि इंट्रोडक्शन कंक्लूजन के अलावा दरमियान में आपको तीन पैराग्राफ्स लिखने चाहिए दिस इज़ वॉट इज़ द डिमांड ऑफ अ गुड एसे एंड लास्ट वन इज़ साइट ऑल एक्सटर्नल सोर्सेज इफ यू आर कोटिंग एनी थिंग इन एनी वे यू आर गिविंग रेफरेंस सो गिव इट करेक्टली ओके इट विल ऑल्सो मेक योर एसे स्ट्रॉन्ग देर आर डेफिनेटली सम डोंट्स to be noticed and uh, kept by mind in mind by you right uh, definitely these will be helping you out in writing um, a very convincing and attractive essay what is the first one don't hesitate to specify um you should not try to uh, like pretend anywhere or um, you should not get um, alert and jisko uh, kehte hain conscious hona कि एम आई राइटिंग इट राइटली और नॉट दिस इज़ वॉट यू हैव टू कंसिडर कि हमने बहुत ज़्यादा इसको स्पेसिफाई नहीं करना ओवर कॉन्शियस नहीं हो जाना राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज़ डोंट फोगेट अबाउट द पर्पज व्यूअर्स यू हैव टू स्टे ऑन द टॉपिक बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स क्या करते हैं कि वो टॉपिक से हट के अननेसेसरी डिटेल्स और इरेलीवेंट मटीरियल अपने ऐसे में लिखते जाते हैं रिमेंबर दैट द लेंथ ऑफ द ऐसे डजेंट मैटर Um, कि आपने बहुत ज़्यादा लिखा हुआ है वॉट मैटर्स इज दैट इज इट स्पेसिफाइड यूनिफाइड इज इट स्पॉन्टेनियस इज इट टू द पॉइंट और नॉट ओके दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड नेक्स्ट वन इज डोंट फोगेट टू आउटलाइन अ गुड ऐसे इज दैट विच इज प्रॉपरली प्लान्ड ओके यू कैन गो थ्रू एन अदर वीडियो ऑफ पैराग्राफ राइटिंग वहाँ पर मैंने फाइव स्टेप्स बताए थे जिसमें कि एक था स्टार्टिंग में कि आपको एक आउटलाइन क्रिएट करनी चाहिए उसके लिए ये होता है कि आपके आपको एक ऑर्डर एक लाइन ऑफ एक्शन मिल जाता है कि मैंने लिखना क्या है और किस ऑर्डर में लिखना है सो मेकिंग एन आउटलाइन फॉर एन ऐसे इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट वन इज़ डोंट बी अफ्रेड टू एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ डेफिनेटली देर शुड बी अ लिटिल बिट टच ऑफ योर ओन सेल्फ ओके सो डू नॉट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ दैट गेट योर सेल्फ इन्वॉल्व इन इट ओके बिकॉज दिस इज योर पर्सनल यू नो कॉम्पोजिशन सो देर विल डेफिनेटली बी योर ओन टच नेक्स्ट वन इज डोंट हैजिटेट टू चेक आउट द एग्जाम्पल्स ओके यू हैव टू रिसर्च ओवर द टॉपिक जितना ज़्यादा आपने रिसर्च करके इसमें कोर्ट किया होगा उतना ही आप बेहतरी से इसको कंप्लीशन की तरफ लेके जा सकते हैं नेक्स्ट वन इज़ डोंट सबमिट योर ऐसे विदाउट प्रूफ रीडिंग अनलेस यू प्रूफ रीड यू वोंट बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड एन एक्सेलेंट एंड अट्रैक्टिव ऐसे सो प्रूफ रीडिंग इज़ अ मस्ट एट द एंड राइट सो आई होप दिस डूज एंड डोंट्स विल बी हेल्पिंग यू अलॉट इन कंपोजिंग योर ऐसे इन राइट राइट वे ओके Uh, at the end, I would also uh, like to share with you uh, the advantages, you know, of essay writing. This is not something useless; rather, it is much more important. Okay, uh, even at the university level, certain um, students have to compose it. Um, the thing is that uh, these, this piece of writing varies at different levels, but it is included everywhere. so remember that while composing an essay a student gains many strengths like he strengthens his own image okay he uh, clarifies his own thoughts uh, uski personality mein ek nikhar aata hai kyunki wo zyada se zyada cheeze compose karta hai uske thoughts ko uh, uh, refresh ho jate hain uske thoughts aur us re strengthen karta hai okay next one is um, एंड ऐसे राइटिंग हेल्प्स स्टूडेंट्स टू अप्लाई वॉट दे हैव लर्न डेफिनेटली जो कुछ उन्होंने सीखा होता है वो उसको प्रॉपरली अप्लाई करते हैं और जब नॉलेज की एप्लीकेशन होती है तो स्टूडेंट का जो नॉलेज है वो फर्म होता है राइट ही लर्न अ लॉट नेक्स्ट वन इज एनहेंस लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसिस डेफिनेटली एंड फाइनली इट हेल्प्स थिंकिंग ऑन अ हायर लेवल बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग क्रिएटिविटी रिमेंबर so creativity in any way will be um, 
providing you much more benefits that's all for today i hope you are going to enjoy the lesson and uh, you will be composing um, at least a better essay next time so uh, i'll be uh, making more and more uh, helpful videos for you on the same topic uh, with some different types of essays hope you will be eager to receive and practice if you are new to the channel viewers you can subscribe for getting more and more beneficial videos for you see you soon um, till the very next lesson take care of yourself allah hafiz